your statues. We will burn down your temples if that's what it takes to rid the world of rodents like you. You're the only survivor? They took prisoners. I was too far gone to carry back to Paros. What happened? We came to talk peace with Paros. They ambushed us. What of your captain, Aeneas? Took him. I'll get him. Make them pay.
Ευθέως εξέρχομαι. Ασφαλίσαι ρε λάβει εστί, ουκ έστι. Now the end is near. We face the final curtain. Something's out there. Το άδικο νεστίν.
I know she wouldn't abandon me. Quick, let's get out of here. Thank you, Miss Theos. I hope Phoenix pays you well for this. Remind her for me. Something's wrong with Paros. More than usual. Strange things are afoot. What did you see? There were others. Not the Paros type. One had a mask. Never seen that before. A mask? Hmm. I couldn't tell who he was. Time to get off this godforsaken island. I know my way back. You should tell Finicas what you saw. I'll report to her at once. I should try to stay out of sight. Just a no, no. You're dead! Just die! <laughs>
You may speak. Ships from Paros have blocaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Ugh. Tell them I'm on my way. A blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? You're right. It's terrible odds for Paros. Be safe and come back to me, Lamb. is clear. We need to move out before they send reinforcements. We're almost ready. Timo? The ships are loading now. They'll be ready on your command. Cassandra? A word. Whatever you need. The cult must be stopped. When we return to Laconia, it will be dangerous. I'm used to it. We both are. 
Here I know who I can and cannot trust. I would have said that about Sparta too, but this news about the king. Did Aspasia find out which of the kings is working with the cult? For all we know, it's both. We must cleanse Sparta of its corruption, no matter the cost. At least now, we can face them together. Yes. For all that those bastards try to take from us. And your brother. We will find him. Come see me when you're ready. Are you ready to sail? I'm ready. <sighs> then I leave this to you. With your shield. Or on it. And now we strike a blow to the cult.
Naxos seems secure. We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast one at a time until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together. I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. Who is he? He's a difficult man to describe. He's many things. But the only way to truly know him is to meet him yourself. So you won't tell me now? There are details only he can provide. I hope when you meet him, you understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Sira. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. what I expected. ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? I wonder what it says. 
So the light beams are the key. Check the tablet again. Aligned. in the right position.
There. That should work. Now to try the door. Finally. Now we can find what lies with you. Watch my step. Take a dive. Icarus! Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. I've come to fulfill my destiny. Oh, you have? And what would that be, young one? I was hoping you'd tell me. Atlantis does not give up its secrets easily. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers! There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. 
We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be strong enough for what's to come. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny is a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viodia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. Vera! We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious! We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstava. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. Must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Set us something sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be in a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! Kyoshi's report. Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo would be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This 
is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common. Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. to Altair too? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla. It's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are amazing. Think, Layla. Think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions. About my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to erase you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place, just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough.
What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. This monstrosity. They wanted it to be an indestructible repository of their knowledge. And here you're supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They want to make sure you remember this island, no matter how often it was renamed Thera, Calista, Atlantis. point for simulating new universes. But how can they make a better future if they won't acknowledge their past mistakes? At least one of the worst influences is gone in my present, anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. have often included an educational mandate aimed at humans. I'm sure you already realize these generous revelations are strategic. Too many of my people have tried to manipulate humans to their own ends. I'm sorry some of them have been so successful. find the artifact that fits here. It took precursor ambition to make such simple concepts into artifacts powerful enough to threaten two entire civilizations. Bravo us! was supposed to be about the Spear of Leonidas. But you know what a spear is. Humans have been killing each other with them for over a hundred thousand years. And the staff you call the Staff of Edmistus Megistus, it's essentially a staff like any other. It's a support, a potential weapon, and a symbol of power. I shouldn't be surprised. My fellow Precursors love being treated like gods. Why not create pets worthy of that reputation? So we all know the ancient Greeks wrote about what would later be called mythical beings. But in this reality, some of them are more than mythical. I'm afraid precursor interference is behind this. A corruption in biological programming. Technological artifacts merging with flesh to create monstrous hybrids. Camp. Orgias must be nearby. He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. The Lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Omar, Amistios! 
What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Yotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I'll find your apprentice, and recover the amulet piece without any trouble at all. Thank you. The gods have truly blessed me by sending you to help find Pibos. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. Off we go now. He's over there. must be Pibos, or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. Another challenger. By the gods! I am no... I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one. You protect an object... A most noble of causes. There's too much at stake. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can... One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. In spring I am gay in handsome array. In summer more clothing I wear. When colder it grows, I fling off my clothes. And in winter quite naked appear. You're a tree. Impressive, little one. Most impressive. This thing all things devour. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Nose iron bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal. Slays kings, ruins towns, and beats high mountains down. Time. I'm impressed. I create my lair 
with earthen string and dispatch my prey with a biting sting. Spider. Good thinking, little one. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. for me you should have come along you have more questions I should go yes there is much to do call me Alicia I am truth in its revelation and I am calling you out you is you who try to rewrite the laws of the universe you who manipulate human progress what do you hope to achieve You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Has Nan Poseidon competed for Athens? I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Silence is preferable to empty words. You have more questions? I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Sandra! La, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He 
told me where I'm from and where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his daughter. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. Strange to be back. I spent so long running from this place. So did I. But we can't run from anything anymore. Agreed. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left. But now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos I could forget. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and tossed it to the bottom of the sea. Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to. But it would have taken all the wood in the land to build one thing. What's wrong with you? This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I hope you're right. For their sake. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them. Weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. Training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. 
Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and fields. <laughs> Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. I'll tell you one last time. Stop it! It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. Last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nicolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it, but he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamos. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try.
Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. My blood courses through these veins. Not some man's I've never met. Leonidas was king, Cassandra. And yet I grew up in the dirt. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. You'll have to go through me. Now, do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias, we're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Ancient and merciless. Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos... If he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. Spartan laws destroyed my family. Spartan laws had me claw my way through the streets. We're here today because he defied those laws. He did, and he lost his head for it. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole... Nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Ilot rebellion and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Ilots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. 
The Cryptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once, but the Cryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. If killing Cryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. heard something.
Must be my imagination. Who's whistling?
need to take down their commander. One down, four to go. That's two. Time to find the others. destroyed. Won't take much longer.
Ready to meet the kings? I have a few things... You're not one of my soldiers. You better have a good reason for being here. I don't need a reason, good or otherwise. <laughs> some bite to you is there. More than some cowering dog. <laughs> Slave to general, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. I need a way clear for my troops. I'll do my part. Consider the commanders already dead. Bring me their Athenian seals as proof? You'll be rewarded for your efforts. to meet the kings? What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Papsanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Pafsanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. to via tear then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos' guard has improved. He should thank me. Rasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia, my king. She helped with the Elotes rebellion. They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Then blame me. I killed the Elder. I started all of this. 
So if you want someone to prove their loyalty, it should be me. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on your honesty, or punish you for the crime you've just confessed. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta, and kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Theodia. Join the commandos there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. ...by making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia, then. Safe journeys. <clears throat> I'm looking for... You! Stentor? I'm here to help, you idiot. Not after Megaris. Not after what you did. King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary. The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta. But I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? What is the Spartan army doing in Viotia? We sieged Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The king Viotia will weaken his position. The wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. What is the Spartan army doing in... We sieged the wolf... I'm here on business. Everything is fine. The Viotian rebels are a problem, but nothing we can't handle. 
You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Veragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. Sandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale.
Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye, Cassandra of Sparta. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. They're not punishing you. They're helping you. Why do you think I'm here? The gods must hate me if our paths keep crossing. From what I've seen, you needed a divine intervention. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better.
victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might have learned more. Stop! Don't you dare tell me what to do! I am in command here! You needed my help! By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you! You know nothing about my family! I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead! Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. A stentor, Your you... job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nicolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. I've already paid more than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through. Stentor, it's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? Rolling Naxos. Sounds like her. May the gods watch over you both. 